Testing, one, two, three. Hello, everybody. This is your boy, Benji Bradshaw, and welcome to some hours with me. Um, the clock is ticking. We have very little time to do a whole face and outfit. And the clock, you'll see it. So we really just got to get going, okay? So to start off, we already did the moisturizer. And I'm going to do the eyes first because the eyes take the longest usually. And also in case stuff falls down, then there's time for me to wipe it up. So we're going to start by... Oh, so this is the mic. Now I know where the mic is. This whole time I had no idea. So now we know. That's the mic. All right. So what we're going to do... It's a little weird. The mic is here. Okay. How do we keep it there? Oh, this is harder than I thought, isn't it? Can this move down? No. Okay. So we're going to just keep it like this. Hopefully it's taking in some audio for you all. Maybe if I do that, it'll be a little better. Okay. <clears throat> we're learning as we go. <clears throat> okay. Water. Okay. <laughs> of course not everything's with me. One second. We gotta get our sponge. That's important, isn't it, people? Getting our sponge. Okay. First thing I do is sponge under here because this is gonna let us have a clean white out above the eye. Pound it in. Oh, you know what, another thing I forgot. You know what, I'm really doing a mess today, aren't I? I was gonna set it. See, this is what happens when you have a clock running, it gets a little scary. Um, so we're gonna do, it's probably a little too late. Anyway, first base primer spray. Sorry, I should've, it's okay. Whatever we have to do, whatever we gotta do. Okay, normally you do that before you put on the white, but hey, you do what you do, and we get everyone just blended into that whiteness because it's what it is, okay? And do it again here, just a little more since we've kind of screwed that up. I'm just using the camera right now. I'm not even using a real mirror. So this is gonna be interesting because the camera probably looks a little bit more refined or cleaner than it really is. So we'll have to do a little check here and there. So tonight the look is gonna be like this gold silver moment. Bright, bright, bright. So we're thinking of using this fade into hue by ColourPop. Thank you Sparkle Bee for giving this to me for Christmas. So that's my sister by the way. Um, so we have a beautiful ColourPop palette. It's already giving us sparkle. Look at this. Perfect for every season, especially Pride season. So we're going to just get right into this, okay, people? Right into this. Um, hmm. The outfit's like a gold kind of silver thing. So maybe having like a blue. Hmm. Do we just stick to the theme? Maybe we stick to the theme. Okay. So we're going to get a brush out. This is my cute little bag. I like to put stuff in sometimes. So we'll just start with like a yellow. We'll do shade. Just to start, let's do shade abstract. Okay, abstract. So I go one, two, three, one, two, three. Tap, tap, tap. And kind of, I always start at the crease. It's going to be a light color tonight. It's not going to be the brightest color in the room. So just be prepared for that at first, but we're going to add a lot of glitter tonight. The theme is glitter. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do more. In fact, I may use some orange, a little bit of orange, because that is close to yellow, but it might just look a little bit more interesting at this point. Actually, Love and Warhol. It's a cool color. This one, so go orange. I'm not good with colors. I know it's not really an orange. There's probably a name, like a professional name, but I'm calling it orange, but it's more of like a, a kind of like a, um, the color of a clementine. And I love clementines, by the way. So it's like a blood orange, is that what it is? Or like a, it's like a reddy orange, red orange. Okay, so see how we're just doing the crease, blending it in, okay? Always blend that brush, BB, BTB, blend that brush, BTB, blend that brush, okay? 
this is definitely more than enough that I need because I was going to do a subtle color. So this is, we don't need any more of this blood orange color. We're going to just, just blend at this point and bring it over. It has like a neon effect, which is pretty cool, I think. Okay. And then I like to go up a little bit. Up a little bit, okay. So you already see that pop. It's like a bright orange. Okay. And back over here, just keep blending it out, blending it out, even on the eyelid, even on the eyelid. Blend, blend, blend. And blend, blend, blend. Okay, and it's kind of a triangle shape, so it goes up like a kitty cat. I love the kitty cat word. Okay, see that? Up, 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 up. Okay, looking cute. Okay, so now we can go with the yellow. I'll go back to the abstract color. That's what it's called, abstract. And we're gonna go over the lid now. More of this yellow. It's very faint, as you see, so I have to do a few times. But now we're getting a nice blend here, which I like, it's kind of pretty. And I'm gonna go over here before it goes too much over there, so I get some of that orange that's still on my brush, just not uneven. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we're just really blending it in. Mm-hmm. All right. And you kind of softly do it. You don't want to do too much. All right. Now we can do some up top on the lids. Give me more yellow up here. Same with over here. Yeah, it's a nice little sunset almost, right? It's like a nice little sunset sky. Kind of go up here, over here. Just really blending is all about bringing it all together, I think. Making it feel like a painting. It's basically what this is, a big, one big painting. It's just on your face. Okay. Even over here a little bit, just to give some foundation of color. Okay. And then, let's do one more, a little, yeah, let's do a few more layers just to get a little darker over here. Yeah, pat, 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 Okay, see how that goes? Just a little layer in there. Okay, and there, and there. Now, one thing I should have done first, but that's okay, is now the eyeliner. The eyeliner for me is actually the most important part of my look ever. Without eyeliner, I never look put together. So I always, 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 always do that within one of the first few moves that I make so that we have a very dramatic eye from the get-go. So for this one, I'm gonna use MAC. MAC has good stuff. And I usually just draw it on my hand to make sure it's gonna come work. It's sharp enough, I think. And then we're gonna just go in. I'm not good at that. So I see I messed up, it's okay, because I'm gonna blend it. So let's go. This is also why I don't really do people's makeup, because I make them look crazy at first, and they're like, what the hell? I'm gonna use a mirror for this part, actually. Because it's kind of not fair to just do it without a mirror. It's a little bit hard. Okay, and then I'm gonna, like I said, use that little brush and kind of blend it out now. I use like a thin brush. So for example, something like this, like a fine print on it. I know it's uneven, don't worry.
I'm blending it out. See now it's coming together and you blend it. This one's not really blending, I guess. It's more just merging it, but yeah. Almost there. This probably is a little bit darker on And I'm showing you my way of doing it. Everyone has their own way. So don't be like, oh, Benji did this way. That's how you do it. It's everyone's how their own way. Okay. Now it should be a little bit more even. I use mine as kind of like an eyeliner when I do the top part, even though it's not supposed to be not an eyeliner, I still kind of put it up there. Okay. I think that's good for now. All right, so I mean, if things will kind of fall off, that's okay. We'll get it fixed later. So now what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna kind of blend that part in or with a darker color. So I'm gonna use, hmm, maybe I'll use like a purple. I usually go for purples for this kind of part of it. Just to blend, but also give some more color down here. Mm -hmm. Yes, my brush broke. Don't come for me, okay? How dare you? Okay, again, I'm going to look in the mirror because it's hard for me to see everything here. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful color. You can't really see it on the camera that much. Uh, uh. Kind of a midnight purple. Then I kind of, I, I'm, I'm really bad at the cat eye. I'm really actually bad at it. So I just always bring this up, just to even it out up here. Because I don't, I'm not the best. The cat eye, I can never just get it right. So I just, instead, making it perfect, I kind of just blend it up. And then I'll refine it, but just for that line, just for that crease line. And I don't care about what happens here because we're going to fix that when we wipe it down. One thing I'm seeing though is a missing a black under eye, under eye liner. So we do have to fix that with the liner. It's a little weird if you don't. Okay. should be fixed now. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a bigger brush, go back to the purple just to clean up those edges. 
okay, because it's just a little bit rough right now. Um, and for that, I usually have another brush I can't find right now. So let's we'll see what we have here. Oh, this is a red. So this is like a like a kind of this kind of a brush. And now we'll just go in and blend that part. And I know you guys are probably like, this is not looking right. Don't worry, it always comes together. We always make it work at the end. Okay. So we lift it up. Yeah, and it already makes my eye look lifted too. You'll notice that if you compare what I did before. Okay. See, much lifted. Okay. And we'll fix that little weird spot, don't worry. Okay, how's our time doing? Time is good. We still have to get dressed. So we're going to, and we have to do our hair still. So we're going to just kind of slow it down at this point. We could always touch it up later, but we don't want to run late. So we're going to just go a little bit here, blend that, blend that. Yeah. yeah. Definitely giving like a sunset look right now. And then let me look on my mirror to see how that looks. Pretty good. It definitely needs some work. Um, you actually fix a little bit here. Looking down helps you see kind of the, what's going on down there too. And I'm going to go back to the yellow and just touch up those yellow spots now that you have more an idea of where everything is going to be placed. And also hopefully doing that will give it be more refined now that you kind of know where everything goes. At least that's the goal here. I think so. Yeah. Okay, blend it, blend it, blend it. Mm hmm. Nice. And then we're going to get the big, oh, that's up there too. One second, people. A lot of work going on here. I like to blend it with my favorite black kind of wide brush. And what I like about this brush in particular is that it, um, I personally feel that it just, oop, my water bottle just fell. Um, I feel that it, it does a good job of, um, you'll see what I mean. See, if I press it, I'm gonna get a napkin. See, this is what happens live when you have a timeline. Stuff happens like this. It's very stressful, people. I wouldn't want to wish it on anyone, but it is what it is. Okay, we, we have things that we gotta get done, and sometimes those things get messy. And when, oh Lord, okay. And when those things get messy off camera, you don't get a second take. Okay. Okay. Now there's some new work here. There we go. Nice, okay. 
like the drama. So dramatic. I'm like, we don't get another take. We don't get another take here. Okay. So see how I'm just blending it all in. Sometimes I don't like doing it because it kind of takes away the makeup, but it also can really add something and blur it, which also works. So it's kind of like one of those things that it works, but also it does kind of, de I don't know if the word is desaturate or kind of limit the color. But at least it pounds it in. That's all I have to say. Okay, now we're ready for some glitter moments first. So this palette has some really cute glitter and highlight shine. So for example, I'm gonna start with Treasure, which is this color here. It's very sh shimmery and cute. So what we're gonna do is take Treasure, okay? And, oh yeah. See that shine? And the shine always helps erase, to me, all of those moments where you're like, what the hell is going on? Like some of the blurry. Oh Lord. Mm hmm Okay, and then we'll do Lucky Charm up here. Ooh, look at that. Uh, a lot of glitter, right? And then, if we're gonna do the purple, might as well put some purple shimmer. So why don't we just use this purple, which is called Nouveau, I think is this one. That one. Just to match, so if we're doing all this glamour, why not? Okay, I know we look kind of crazy right now, don't worry, we're not done. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let me look again in my mirror. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Very sparkly, which is going to be good. And I always, this is a good reminder to always kind of do the bottoms. That gives a nice little shimmer below. Okay, I this is looking good. I'm afraid to do this black thing again just because it's or I don't want to get glitter over it, but guess what? I'm doing it. Oops. It should be okay. This one's more of a pounding thing. I pound it in, so it should be okay. Okay. Now because I want to go for a lot of glamour with the eyes, I'm gonna see if I have my pressing uh Gold stuff. Oh yeah, here it is. Perfect. Color pop as well. Of course it is. And they have this. Look, don't look. Don't judge me. But yeah, it's a gold thing. You just put on your hand and you just press it, and it gives you more glitter. Nice, right? So this should be like very glittery now which is what I want, because the whole idea is to be a lot of glitter. Okay, now let's do our eyelashes. Notice how I'm doing the eyes first, and then we're, that way if anything falls, we're gonna clean it up before we move on to the foundation. So here, we're going to, oh yeah. Finally, we have our eyelash stuff. Hmm. Here it is. So what I do first, I have this uh, mascara liner thing. So I don't know if I do it first or not. So I'm gonna do the first, just the black Renegade 
Wet n Wild Eyelash Wintergade. I think you could already see how it just pops those eyes out more, even with just that much. And then I use my hands to kind of do the first. I'm not really a person that uses um, falsies. I just have too much problems with it. Okay, and then. Nice, and then I'm going to use this clear eyelash lash mascara. This just helps it stick out. Of course, now I'm just doing the top right now. Oh, Ooh, that's not good. Oh, it's a little, oh, it must have got stuck, okay. Oh, I didn't know you could pull it out like that, that's cool. I know you go first. I guess you go down both and up. Okay. Okay. And bottom. Okay, so we have a lot of messiness below the eye, and that's totally fine. Okay, that's totally fine. So now what we're gonna do is I like to use moisturizer below the eye, but I think it's fine. I, you can also use a face wipe, like a makeup face wipe, but I like the moisturizer. I kind of don't have a moisturizer right now, so I will use a face wipe. And it'll be just quicker, so I don't have to get up. Sorry. Okay. Let's drink some water. of these things, you know. All right, so we are wiping my hands because I had some black with a mascara on my hands. Okay, I'm gonna use an air for this just so I make sure I get it all. So I'm gonna go on and I swipe up. Almost like you're on a dating app. Just swipe up, under, and up. Under and up. You don't want to get all that gone, but like you do want to get this messy stuff gone. Okay, so just definitely help now refine 
that area. Remember before it was kind of messy? Look at that, refined. So it's a great way to just go back in and refine. Anything that went wrong or anything that looks kind of weird, just go in and refine it, okay? All right, cool. So now we can start doing foundation, I think. Cool. So I do go back in and, um, oh, I'm not go back in. I put this in my packet again, so after tonight, I can take it, when I take off my makeup, it's ready to be taken off. Okay, so now foundation time. I probably, will, oh, I can just use one of these. Yeah, I'm not gonna go crazy tonight in terms of like new foundations. I'll use what I usually use. I'll just do this, the Natasha Diona, Denona foundation full coverage tonight, okay? And then I'm gonna use a brush to not usually use my hands, but I don't want to have to go back to the bathroom and wash everything off, so we're using a Bobbi Brown brush, okay? So I do, could do one more foundation spray. Just down here, I'm not gonna, yeah, whatever. Okay, wait for that. So I'm gonna, oh yeah, shake it. Okay, squirt, squirt. One, two. Gotta be careful with that. I'm gonna try, because it's close to my skin color, I'm gonna really try not to go on my neck tonight. It's just a lot of work. I have to always clean that up. Watch out for your hair. It's good for now. And then we just wipe it in. So I don't care what people say, foundation really does make a look complete. When you have it on, it really pops everything. Pops the makeup, pops um, the eyeshadow. Notice how I am going to the neck still, but I'm just not doing all that area. I just don't feel like it tonight. But normally if I'm at a show or something, I do the whole neck. Okay, and I will look in my other mirror because I can't see everything on here. Okay, all the way up to that part up there. Yeah, pretty good. For what we're doing tonight, not intense, so I think this is gonna be a good amount. I don't, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do it. And I think with that uh, setting spray, I could see a difference. The makeup just sits better, I think, for, especially foundation. So I think that was a good call. Remember, I'm not, I'm just, yeah, I'm not going to go hardcore on the foundation tonight. Okay. Okay, okay, you got to kind of rub it in. Rub, 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 rub it in. Yeah, because this is a pretty good color match, so I think we're okay with the neck. All right, so now the most important part of the face, I think, after doing all that is under the eye. So we're going to just go under and do the triangle. And triangle, nose, tip, tip, nose, okay? So those are the key areas, I would say, that you want to have that's going to pop the face, okay? Back to the sponge and just tap, tap, tap in. Okay, and I like to do a sharp edge using a knife. Okay, and then we go same thing, triangle here to give like dimension here. I don't know why I always do that because it like pops my jaw out too much and I have a big chin. But I just do it, it just feels like it's more like acceptable in makeup world, but maybe I shouldn't do it there. Because it pops in the nose. Again, that area. And right in there. Let's look on here. Mm-hmm. 
I think that's good. Looks pretty airbrushed, I'd say. It looks good. Okay, next is going to be eyebrows. So for the eyebrows, I'm going to use natural top or taupe, whatever, from a Milani. Okay. I will look in the mirror again for the eyebrows because that's important that it's like precise. But we're just going to follow it what you got. So I'm going to go up. I always exaggerate that up part, the slope, and then bring it around. And then down. So you already see how that dark kind of just shapes it, but look, comparing it, it's like a stronger eyebrow. It's crazy how just a little bit does it goes a long way with the eyebrows. Okay, back to this little point, pressure point. Up and down, up, 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 up. Okay, again, see that sharpness, but it's a very minor thing, but it makes a big difference. And we'll go in once more, I think. Normally, like to not have eyebrow. I like to bleach my eyebrows, but it's also fun to have eyebrows too. So, okay, and then you do the same thing: pressure point, top point, and you just fill it in. Top point, down. Okay. So glad you guys are here with this new series that you're getting this amount of time with me, these minutes. It's very cool. Okay, one more. Okay, and you could like use this to kind of, I don't like doing this usually when I bleach my iris because then it makes my bleached eyebrows go off and I hate that. They're not bleached now, so we're good. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, and then I would say the last thing, really, um, of course, cheeks and highlight. So for cheeks, I do cheeks before I set my matting mat down. Okay, depending on how dramatic we want those cheeks will depend, uh, will, you know, change how how we use and apply things. I'm gonna probably tonight just use more so because I can't find the other things. So I'm gonna do much more of a um, just a regular. Oh, unless it's in here. I'm my little bags. Um. Yeah, no, we could. We don't have to worry about that right now. I don't want to stress trying to find stuff. So the cheeks. Okay, my usual big big brush, round, round, round. And we're gonna suck. When I have my hair bleached, I always use a cardboard or something very sharp because it will come up in my hair, but because my roots are coming in, it's okay to kind of play it by ear, as they say. Okay, we suck it, suck it, suck it. The thing I think you're noticing and what I think is important to know about makeup is that every bit counts. Every the eye, the brow, the cheeks, the lips, all of this adds up to a beautiful painting. So you kind of got to do it all if you want the finished look. And every part adds something different, a new element, which is what's really cool about makeup, I think. You can see just that already adds something. It's a little bit more dimension, a little more sun. Um, so I like that that's what, this, what, what dressing up can do and makeup can do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, pat it right here. Okay. Let me look mirror. Yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so now we can set. Yeah, we set first. So let's use the matte. I'm going to use a matte finish setting spray. Let's do it like an X. Let it set. While that's setting, I'm gonna think about, I'm gonna look up actually, we don't wanna like make things come down. Time is ticking, time is ticking, time, time, time is ticking, 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 ticking. Okay. Of course, I have chapped lips, so it's kind of sucks to put lipstick on tonight. But we are, maybe we'll do our hair, her first. Actually, we'll put her outfit on. So we're gonna do a very sparkly outfit tonight. So one second, let me be back on. But I'm not stopping the tape because that's the goal. We're doing it in this amount of time. So wait right there. I'm gonna try to sing for you while you wait. Let's see. Do, 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 do. What if God was one of us? Across a stranger on a bus, trying to make his way home. If God had a face, what would it look like? And would you move on to me and all the prophets? And yeah, yeah, God is good. And yeah, yeah, God is great. And yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sorry guys, I know you don't want to hear this, but, okay. You don't want to see what's going on over here. A lot of mess happening. A lot of stupid decisions of packing and what we didn't pack, what we should have packed and how we should, etc. All right, so, first things first, I'm gonna put on, of course it's winter. Well, let's see, let's just wear these, why not? Okay, hopefully the camera's on. So what we're gonna do is we're wearing tonight is this matching sparkly outfit. So we're gonna wear this very sparkly shirt with this very sparkly pants. So you're gonna get a full on sparkle moment. Thank you to that store that I bought it from, which I can't remember right now. What's it called? Um, Yeah, I can't remember, but anyway, it's a great store. Um, what's that one? Marshall's, Marshall, Marshall. It's very cold in New York, so it's also important to remember that I have to wear layers. So I'm gonna put on socks first, and then I'm gonna put on, I don't know if the camera's just rolling, we're getting ready, okay. Uh, I'm gonna put on my little long johns, and mind you, the reason I'm doing this, because I really want to show you that you can do it in this amount of time. You can, from head to toe, get ready and get out the door. You know, it's the perfect number to do that. Okay. So now, I'll take off my mic just so that, of course, uh, that happens. So, okay, let me quickly put these on just for now. Okay, and let's switch out the mic. One second. We're almost done. What if God was one of And all the prophets, and yeah, yeah, God is good. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, let's see. Make sure, yes, okay. So the reveal, you could finally see what I'm wearing. How beautiful, right? Sparkle. Okay, so let me fix the back button. I look insane with my hair right now. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna put this in and then just stand up so you can really see the whole look. It's always important to really see what somebody's wearing and how they look in it, okay? So let's show you right now. See the full look? Total sparkle. Okay, hair. Let me get my bump it. Yes, I'm wearing a bump it. Don't care what you think. I mean, I do kind of, but I know I shouldn't. So for this hair, there's different ways you can do it. But tonight, I'm gonna kind of do it the rough way. It's just kind of scary right now because it's so cold outside. So I do have some like mousse in here from the other night, so that's good. It's gonna help us shape, shake it up. But I usually would do more right now with more product. But that's like I said, I'm running late. So I'm gonna put this kind of like midway in, and for me, I'll do it the long way. So it's like that. First thing I'm gonna do is put some of this hair under it. So I might go like like that, and use uh, like a wider one and just go in the back underneath it to secure that first one in, okay? Didn't really do a good job, so I'll do it one more time, because you want to really use as many, like little, as many, little amount of pins, but to get the same result. So let's try this again. Didn't really go in. One second, sorry. It's very stressful putting a bump in your hair. Okay, not bad. Let's get our other bump at side. And same thing, let's put it, maybe it's just another one over here. This is important that these kind of stay in. Okay. It's a little crazy, I know, okay? Get over it. So now we're gonna do the opposite over. So now we're gonna put these kind of over this way. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of the foundation essentially. And then I'm gonna need more pins. Oh, here we go. So, now we can kind of just put them in different spots. Okay, and then now is where I use the gel to really merge in this other hair. So let me get that. This will get a little sticky when I'm doing that. What if God was one of us? Okay, so I do use This, um, this is what we're going to use. American Crew Defining Paste and Hairspray. I used Tresemme. So grab a nice little chunk and I rub it all the way in. Okay. And then put it in. 
and it really is going to refine your hair, which is why I like it a lot. And it doesn't look too wet or too dry. It's like the perfect amount of just paste, paste to shape your hair. So do that. Another batch in there. Because my hair is blonde, I don't care if there's white chunks. Like I'm like, whatever. It's going to look like the blonde, kind of. <laughs> I have hair back here I hate that when it gets like too jumpy, back bunchy. So I do try to make that look more streamlined. Okay, it's like very Casino Royale right now. It's like we're going to the casino. Okay. And now the sides are important, especially for me, because I have these big sideburns that are kind of hairy and nobody wants that. So I kind of push those down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I can see it here, the bump it is really visible. So that's when we go over here with more paste and just cover that bump it. Nobody wants to see a bump it. I'm sorry. Just, it's not okay. Okay, so we're gonna cover that bump it. That's the goal of this section. It's not perfect, you guys. It's a little bit, you know, I don't like it looking hard in terms of the hair, but when you're in a rush, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do just to cover that bump it and uh, pin it. And if you have more time, you could really finesse this so that it really cannot be seen. But it, sometimes it's just too hard. And you kind of have to do with what you got. It's very tricky. Not as easy as it would seem. Yeah, there we go. Just keep doing whatever you can to just put it back there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just whatever you have to do. And then I'm gonna put some of these root. I like it kind of messy like that, that's cool. But you kind of do that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, so then we have a good shape, I think, at this point. What is our clock doing? Okay, good. Okay. Rub it all in. Okay, even back here a little bit. You still want some volume, but you don't want so much that it's gonna look weird to bump it and then like your sides of your hair are all like, you know, bouncy. Okay. So now that we pretty much have the hair in a good place. I'm gonna use a mirror again because I can't really see it 100%. But ideally at this point, we have pretty much the foundation of the hair all ready to go. That's the real dream at this portion. You could even use the brush to now comb it, because usually combing it will make it look more natural. So we just kind of comb all of it, just to bring it all together. For those that are dyeing your hair, if you go down, it kind of covers some of the roots, which is nice. See that? It covers a lot of the roots. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid to do too much back there just because it's gonna. I'm afraid it's gonna um, f mess up the bump it. You could do it a little bit, just try. Because it will give volume, which will help cover the bump it. So that is actually a good thing to do. Just be very careful. How 
arms also make it look more natural, the hair. And then once we hairspray it, we'll be good. So then, pushing that bump it as far back as we can, covering it. Now we do our last step with the hairspray. You want to use the hair to cover the bump it with it. Oh, it's hitching the in there. Sorry you guys, there's a lot of noise, I'm gonna fix it. One second. Let me fix it. Okay, there we go. Sorry, there's some noise. Now I'm in another mirror because I, it's hard for me to see the hair without kind of going in here and doing a final run through. Sometimes you do have to move the bump it around and that's okay. Don't feel bad if you realize like, you know what, this bump it needs to be pushed back further. That's actually okay and it's totally natural. Um, but it, and it's better to catch that earlier. So when you catch it, because you have all the hairspray and stuff in, the good news is that usually it's not a big deal to reinsert it. Okay, and then you just kind of put it back in. So don't feel bad about that at all. It happens to everybody with a bump it. Bump it's are not the easiest to work with. And especially it's hard because I can't see everything in this view when I'm talking to you guys on that camera. So it is a little bit hard to get it just right on camera. So what I'm doing, let me try to show you guys. Is I just readjusted it a little bit and I pushed it back. Okay, I pushed the bump it back. <laughs> Don't laugh. And pushed it back. And then I'm gonna pin a lot of this hair right away here to cap cap off you seeing the bump it. Okay, so see how I do that? Like put it more further back and then cap it in there. And then we're going to do it again with a pin. So it always happens. Bump it's, it's a little bit tricky because you kind of have to play around with it. And if every day your hair is different, so you're going to have a different experience with how you put it in your hair. So I think this will be okay this time. But, but notice that it wasn't easy. I had to kind of play around with it, and that's natural. I kind of like this little hair coming out. It's like very, you know, messy little whatever. Um... Okay, pop that in. I think we're okay now with the hair part of it not looking too crazy. Okay, so last step, of course, is the lipstick. Okay, we're really getting short on time. I'm only doing lipstick. I usually will wait till I get to the venue to do the lipstick, especially with all these mask situations, as I'm sure you all are aware of. But tonight I'll do it so you could just see. So I'm gonna do basically uh what let me wash my hands real quick.
Let's see. I do a lip liner usually, but tonight I'm not because I have because I have dry, dry. Well, I could do a. No, I'm not gonna do it. But let's just do. Mm-hmm. It's a good lip color. It's not gonna dry out the lips, but I want something kind of dark tonight. Or darker. I might have to go to my other box. Okay, one second. I can't even find a lipstick box. Lipstick box is here. Okay. So I think, so yeah, look at, almost done. Okay, we'll do like a gloss. Let's try rosy. Oh, okay. okay, we'll do. Or, oh no. Okay, this is Pat McGrath, okay? It's a bright pink. Uh oh. Kind of give me a spring, you know, a spring. And then we'll top it with, today we'll just top it with this other Pat McGrath, or Ulta Beauty Shine Shimmer. Now, we're going to put some my purse so I don't lose it when I go out tonight. Okay, I think we're about done. So while we have a few more minutes, so I'm gonna do some final touches. Oh my God, highlight, hello, I'm so stupid. All right, for highlight, I should have put some on my upper lip. That didn't happen, did it? So we're gonna, oh, actually, let's use the gold. This is important, this look, let's just use this gold. So we're gonna use, also, Pat McGrath, I use this gold kit. Looks like this. It's amazing. Brush. Look at that. Up, over, up, over, up, over. Up, over, up, over, up, over. A little bit in the nose. Should have been much before. But you want it down there. You really do. Okay, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, and because I'm going for that glitter look tonight, probably could put a little bit on my cheeks, but I just, yeah, it's just too much for all this mask stuff. Oh, and then you're gonna set it. So now that we have, you could do, I could do a little, of this. this little match, I think. This is um, kimchi, this glitter. You put it on your hand. And we'll just do a little bit here, just to match. Oh yeah, that kind of makes this whole look come together, I think. Right? So bright lights, look at that. Okay, let's do our final runway look. Okay, oh, the final thing, most important thing. Guess what it is? Setting spray. One more time. Well. One 
more hairspray. And let's do our look. See how we did that. Maybe I'll do some bracelets just to be glitter glitter. But I think this is our look. Okay, we're gonna we have a few more minutes, so let me do a final touch. Let's just I think I have a little shimmer bracelet. It will just give us our final shimmering salvation right in time for our ending. Okay. Clock is ticking. These on. Perfect. I think we're ready to go. So, everyone, thank you so much for this amazing um, session. We did all of this in our time frame, and I'm very impressed with the amount of work we did. It took some time, but we got there. So, again, um, Come back, We're, my channel, if you're not here subscribed yet, please subscribe, um, follow for updates. It's been a real pleasure tonight just being with all of you, getting ready for the party, the sparkle party, and just remember to always just love life, love yourself, be nice, and yeah, dress up. There's nothing wrong with dressing up, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna quickly see where is anything else. So we're gonna definitely take these tonight, with us, always carry your lip glosses and lipsticks. And oh my gosh, we have a minute. Oh, this is so exciting. Anyway, love you all. Be good. Love is love. What else could I say? Uh, is there anything else I need for this look? I don't think so. I really think we did it all. I didn't think we would. I was really nervous for a little bit. Hmm. Pat McGrath. All right, everyone. I'll lead us out with the final thing. Subscribe, follow, enjoy life. Uh, in other videos, we hope to do more things. Hope to do uh, you know music production, more fashion, behind the scenes, getting ready. <clears throat> so that's just the beginning.